we go. Fix itself. Now it speaks the truth. Fuck bobblehead. What about bobbleheads? You'll see it. Oh, that one. Irish pride. Higgs and Loken have officially lost their minds. They'll be lucky not to be exiled. Holding our food supply hostage? Higgs and I don't know what it really is, I'm just saying Irish pride. Now understand, my people, this will be jammed into your motherfucking throats. I'm happy to be here, Dr. Fillmore. I hope I do the position justice. I'm sure you will. Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back, to assert ourselves here. That's what we've talked about all along. To bring you up to speed, obviously there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, but to project power to a much greater degree. What does that mean? I'm sure the reactor will improve everyone's life. It's a great accomplishment. Yes, but it's not just that. The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's not beat around the bush. The Directorate has agreed that the Brotherhood of Steel needs to be eliminated. As the incoming director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? Huh. I agree. We hit them hard, before they have time to react to our new position. Good. That's just what I wanted to hear. As director, it's up to you... Um, we avoid conflict or hit them hard. School. That's... We'd like you I hit to hard. on what direction we should yeah. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? Hmm. I think that that man supply may have fucked you. Maybe. We can either increase the synth production or weapons and development. Weapons Better. and development. I've seen enough to know that weapons are the key to winning wars. Let's focus on weapons development. As you wish. The advanced systems folks will get to work immediately. Thank you very much for your time, sir. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. Being the director of the Institute is a serious commitment. I hope you understand that. End of the line. Kill the... Kill the freedom train.
Institute of Bioscience. Goodness sake, be reasonable. I know you can hear me. Now open this door. Uh, What's going on? Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken have decided to protest your appointment as father's successor. They've taken control of the bioscience security systems and cut off our food supply. Have they made any demands? Not yet, but I expect they'll demand that you renounce all ties to the Institute. Maybe I can reason with them. I believe I can help with that. I can unlock the maintenance tunnel that leads to the bioscience observation room. From there, you should be able to communicate with Higgs and Logan. If you can't reason with them, you can use this holotape to access the command functions on the observation room terminal. That should give you some options. Just please, try to talk to them first. Use violence only as a last resort. Well, if, if I can't get them to reason, I'm releasing the gorilla on them. <laughs> Here we are. Yep. Just give me a moment. There, it's unlocked. <coughs> Here, monkey business. That deserves the ending sequence for their lives if they refuse okay. to listen. You must be terminated. Go on. attacking you because they're under control okay doesn't matter that I'm the director right now their programming that they've been filled up with states I am the enemy so they will obey Come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. I know you're angry, but there's a better way to handle this. Oh, you're wrong. You see, I've tried talking. For years, I've suggested that we do things differently here, but nobody listens. Let's see if anyone can afford to ignore me now. Far from it. What we do, we do to protect the Institute. We seem to be in an impasse. Okay. Then there's nothing more to talk about, is there? Father's heir apparent. He made it past your impenetrable defenses. What have you got that for? Compose yourself, man. We will... Always not the risks. We are still in control. So, was it a holotape I need to use? Yellow to holotape, what is it? For what? There we go. Yep. The gorillas! Say jump grid to disable the turrets.
I want to fight a gorilla. Reload it. You fought your gorilla. I want you to reload it and try and talk to them. I don't give a shit. That was unfortunate. We don't like violence here, and I fear your actions will have consequences. Diplomacy has failed extremely. What was I supposed to do? Let everyone starve? I don't mean to preach. I simply wish that matters could have been resolved more peacefully. I'll see that the mess in hydroponics is cleaned up. I suppose I should also make the funeral arrangements. Well, there's much to do, so I'll get about it. In the meantime, I'm sure everyone will be relieved that this is over. I think Death by Gorilla was fitting. Yeah. Well, only one gorilla killed him. Sadly. There you are. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions known? It was difficult for them to reach the decision to engage in open hostility. What about you? Do you agree with their decision? It's the only way we can ensure the Institute's safety. That makes it the right thing to do. I'm glad you agree. None what comes next will be easy. That conviction may help keep us all going. You know, Father, it's no secret that you worked with the Railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is, where do you stand with them now? Do you count them amongst your allies? No. Does it matter? What are you getting at? I think it's obvious. For the Institute's position in the Commonwealth to be secure, the railroad must be eliminated. Completely. As our primary above-ground operative and someone who has had previous contact with the railroad, you are in the best position to carry this out. So what I'm getting at, simply, is this. There has to be another solution here. Something less violent. I'm afraid the time for hesitation has passed. We must act decisively and we must act now. Will you do it? Uh, yep. I can take care of it. Good. Kill Desdemona.
Well, I'm gonna need my shit upgraded then. Take things one day at a Yep, it's gonna be military. Need more adhesive. Yeah, I want to upgrade that chess piece, and it's the strongest chess piece you can get. There's Carla. At least that's an easy way to spot Carla. Where is that Nick? Well, that's Nick. Do you have Just get a supply of the adhesive. Any chance you got a second now? Um, that would be in Diamond City. Job. Nah, we need aluminum and adhesive for the paint job, I think. So, we have to go there anyways. Yeah. Guess that's true. Hey. One. Nick. Uh, any chance you got a second now? Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting the Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. 
memories of Nix. They're not bad, they're just, uh, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am, that I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. You think, you feel, you're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong, I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con, or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Mm. Everything that makes me who I am judgment, my speech, hell, even my name, they're his, and I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them I'm nothing, a shell, all I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick, you've got the agency, the home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I, I'm just gonna need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. Right. Thanks. Nick is amazing. Well, to Diamond City we go. Get some adhesive and get the fuck out. We also need to repair Nick's armor eventually. Eventually. Well, it doesn't really do anything for him, I don't think. Actually, it hasn't gone down any time no, recently. There is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. So it actually is buffed his defense a hell of a lot more than just standard. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the arc. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime. Eddie, Eddie Win Winter. He was a bad man. He did a lot of bad things. Hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming. So he sealed himself inside a personal shelter. Located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. <laughs> Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, hmm. so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Jeez, you've really done your homework on this guy. Have. And I uncovered a doozy. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul <laughs> 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. Wow. I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter, safe and sound, ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him, so that never happens. You in? All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. Then we get winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to, uh, including one of winter's that I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. 
On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Hmm. Every piece in here is worth what I charge for it. No arguments. Sure. Let's take a look. Just don't call it junk. It's junk. Adhesive shipment. Plastic. Springs. Ceramic. Not all of her shipments. I don't need steel, because we have an ass low steel. Waste of money. If I did. I guess I don't need these vertebrate signal flares anymore. Nope. not allowed to shop here. No sense. Good to see you too, Myrna. And I'm not the one shopping here. My friend is. Fine. As long as this synth doesn't touch anything, we can do business. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything you... I forgot to click accept. Bitch. We need those ones. So you need plastic and adhesive. I already have a ton of plastic there, which is kind of why I don't want to get it. Oh, okay. So you you have plastic there now, unlike you had no plastic there beforehand. Yeah. Guess I could buy plastic. And then accept. Then we gotta make the big old trip back to Sanctuary. Flash there in an instant.
Model B, all the way to Model E. Didn't really change its appearance, which it should have, in my opinion. You're running out of aluminum. I need aluminum now. Thanks for saying that, Kenny. Hey. Let's see, did they bring any back? So that they can be converted into aluminum, maybe? Thank you, Alberta. <sighs> I wish I could prioritize what I wanted. Now, what did I upgrade? You upgraded the head to E. Trait. Yeah, it's E. Yeah. Well, now it's time to kill the go kill Desdemona. And you need to get a shit ton of aluminum to make sure that you paint it military. As well as get the rest of your armor upgraded to the same level. Pam needs you in her room. How do you even fit down here in that? Please, work with us instead of the Minutemen. The lives of many... <laughs> Shit! I've been... Talk to her first. I don't know. Take your time. Uh-huh. Um, uh... Shit! We got company! They're here somewhere. I would have actually like to save some of these people. Sorry, Deacon. That ends the railroad. Is that the mysterious stranger? Oh, no, this is how we're cut out. It's really sad that I had to kill them all. Yeah, it is. But I am the fixer, and I fix their existence.
That's probably got a aluminum in it. She's been drained of everything. Jalapeno cheddar cheese popcorn. Dad says I'm as good as he is. Shut up, Liam. Likely difficult for you. Nope. It was tough. Yeah. I assure you that there was no other way. Their fanaticism wouldn't have allowed it. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. What is it? What's this last threat? Well, perhaps it's not that obvious after all. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology Fred. and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. Hmm. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out there in the world, Father. And they too will come for us. Not necessarily. Teach them a lesson, they'll stay away. That is precisely my intent. We will teach them a lesson. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. You seem pretty convinced this will work. The Institute is nothing if not thorough. Dr. Lee should be expecting you in her lab. She can fill you in on the details. Time is of the essence. Airship down. Oh, we have to take. I want to capture it. Give it to the Minutemen. Yeah. Last, we have power adequate to our needs. Dr. Lee. What can I do for you? Sean says it's time. Ah, that. Well, let's get to it. Dr. Orman, over here, please. It's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that the robotics... Liberty center. Prime. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. It would seem we've run out of time. Let's go. We're going to cover the basics of the operation as it stands now. Dr. Orman has done most of the prep work, so I'll let her explain. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? I'm aware of that, yes. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate yes. an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. So, we just relay onto the airship and sabotage it. Won't do us any good. There's no direct connection between their robot and the airship. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. Hmm. We can relay you in to a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. 
We'll have the element of surprise, if nothing else. Exactly. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in sims, giving you even more of an advantage. And... Oh! I almost forgot. Take these. And these would be... Oh, you'll like this. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. <laughs> We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. <laughs> okay. the bay. That's pretty good. I know, right? I mean, thanks. Uh -huh. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. Oh. You know the deal with that, right? What's Liberty Prime? Dr. Lee can give you the rundown. Yes, well, the Brotherhood discovered him. An old pre-war military project that never saw the light of day due to power problems that couldn't be solved. With my assistance, they were able to get his reactor running and use him against their enemies. I don't want to kill it. What did you do? I designed and oversaw the building of the reactor that ultimately solved the power problems. The point here is that in designing the power system for the robot, I had full knowledge of every onboard system. I know exactly what it is capable of and precisely how to exploit those capabilities. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past 10 years, and, this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get shot, you know? With Liberty Prime on our side, that yes. is a hell of an advantage. He's not going to go stomping around, and he won't be taking orders, but he will have his weapons and targeting systems overridden, and he'll absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. <laughs> so your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry. We'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Otherwise, they'll be waiting for you in the relay room. What happens to Liberty Prime after this? He'll be destroyed along with the rest of the Brotherhood. No! Liberty Prime! What have I got for backup? Once the generators are down, we'll be able to throw everything we've got at them. And I do mean everything. Have we got a plan B? We don't need a plan B. Uh-huh. No questions. Let's do this. Very well. Good luck to you. Plan B? We have to destroy Liberty Prime? I have to destroy my best friend? No, my best friend. I, best. I, I don't like that as well. I would really like Liberty Prime to be your um, asset, but I guess not. I want him to be part of the Minutemen. I'll Sounds build him a hat. Like Raiders of Libertalia. Quite a handful. I already have a design for the hat. He'll have a little Minutemen symbol on top of it, and we'll give him a giant musket. Yep, that would have been perfect. Call it, call him the Minute of Liberty. He'll be staying at the castle. I'd be happy if they'd be able to make their own Minuteman um, version of Liberty Prime. Armor and um, or and the um, blacksmiths are what you're gonna need. Blacksmiths will let you upgrade your cannon. Part for the rod cider.
This is sad. Sad day indeed. Buddy Prime is dead. We have to pour out a shot for him. They better make a synth prime, or else I'm gonna get pissed. Synth power armor and synth prime. Those two things need to be done. What do you mean, die? Liberty Prime! You're out here fighting every single person you want to fight, not taking care of the generator and waiting for more traffic to arrive than you are. What will be doing here? So I already took the power source from it, so apparently I don't have to. Won't be able to pick this. Um, there were some explosives, maybe. Up. 
It went dark. <laughs> I have to hit them. Get him. Synth with a rocket launcher. I mean, you didn't have to come to this. You guys were such unforgivable asshats. Blaze.
There's Dance. Every crime looks amazing. Dance is here. Time to put down our friend. Sadly. I like Dance. Trading shish kebab. Simp gorillas. I better get to watch it land. And I'm gonna go back and find Liberty Prime. That's there be an op there better be an option to like rebuild Liberty Prime.
Yep. A Hindenburg crash. Wait, no. That's your brother here, Seal, dying. speaks highly of your combat skills. Okay. Nuclear family. My son finally dies. Liberty Prime. It landed on top of him. Father is more than just our leader. He is our creator. I can't express how truly humble it is to stand. Sometimes Quentin is really mean to me, but my mom says I have to be nice anyway. you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but I'm glad you're safe. We're all safe now. For now, yes, but there will always be threats. You must remain vigilant. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute and to me. You can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, it's all up to you. Is there some other way? Another treatment that can help you? Nothing permanent, no. The inevitable could be delayed, but... at increasingly terrible cost, I simply decided it wasn't worth it. Don't worry about me. You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been... strange, hasn't it? Damn straight. I spent years wondering what you were like. Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that... I'm grateful for the time we've had. As am I. Thank you. Father, you've helped a boy achieve his dreams. I think... I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean. All over again. I close my eyes. 
I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Hmm. Everything can change in an instant. And the future you plan for yourself shifts, whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought... I, I hoped I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. Hmm. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. <laughs> He's gone. I know this is a difficult time, but you're the director now. It's time for you to lead us. Excuse Don't me. Don't tell me. Allie. He's gone, isn't he? I'm very sorry. I know this must be difficult for you. Thank you. That's kind of you. I'm certainly happy to do whatever I can to help going forward. Obviously, the director's quarters are now yours. I'll see to it that requisitions is restocked and have them add in some additional items to be used at your discretion. Some of the divisions may still need your help. Hmm. Consider checking in with them. Good luck, Director. It's not the closure I wanted. Have you seen J522 around? He didn't show up for duty today. I can't seem to find him. Did you check robotics? He was probably scheduled for routine maintenance. I wouldn't worry about it. I That's the closure you get. He wasn't in the log, and everyone I've asked hasn't seen him. He's never just missed his ship like that. Goodbye, Sean. What are you saying? I'm worried something might have happened to him. No one knows where he is. It's like he just disappeared. It doesn't feel right. Shh. Keep your voice down. You know what happens if they hear you talking like this. They'll wipe you. I suggest you keep this to yourself. But what if something's wrong? Look around. Courser patrols have doubled. Scents are being wiped more frequently. Something is going on. I don't want to hear anymore. Do whatever you want. Just leave me out of it. It must make you proud to see all that Father has done. All that he has built. I never watched this one happen.
Welcome. Please proceed directly to process. From what I hear, that rogue sent at Libertalia was a real menace. So, Sun's Memorial. Scanning unknown identity. Excuse me, Director. Power armor is sturdy enough, but it limits your mobility. Here we're about to get a new food supplement. Wow, food supplement. You've done it, sir. You've crippled our enemies and secured a better future for mankind. A better future is all I ever wanted. Then you've justified Father's faith in you and proven that he made the right choice when he named you as his successor. Speaking of which, now that you're the leader of the Institute, there's a matter you'll need to consider. The Railroad and the Brotherhood have been beaten, but not eradicated. Greetings, sir. <coughs> Ready for the next mission, sir? Not right now. Just stay put. Will do, sir. He's sitting on an invisible chair. He's got those calves like. Sounds like those radios at the Hercules. Hercules. The world will be better off once the surface dwellers die out. Surface dwellers don't need to die out, they just need help to rebuild. Subject identified. And I'm going to do that. Advanced systems. I think I'd be above ground, suffering. I'm much better off here. There's T.S. Wallace. Hey, Sean. Hi, Dad. I've been waiting for you. Wow. Hi, son. I'm glad I don't have to keep waiting. I didn't want to forget. Here, this is for you. It's a hollow tape from Father. He said to give it to you, but not to listen to it. I, is it true that he died? I liked him. He was always really nice to me. Yeah. I'm afraid it's true. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. But you're in charge now, right? You must be pretty excited about that. Hey, Dad, can you do something for me? Next time you're above ground, can you look for something? I want to try building some new stuff. I'd like to have an old microscope, you know, to use for parts. I bet I can make something really useful for you. Sure thing, Sean. Thanks, Dad. This is fucking creepy as shit. I hope, does that thing grow? Well, it is a clone of him, using his DNA. I, I, I hope it's a clone. Better be a clone, or else it's getting a bullet in its brain. What was it called? Oh, you still have to go talk to your um, super mutant friend. Well, what was the thing called? Oh, there it is. If you 
you are hearing this, then the time has come. I am gone. I can no longer look after young Sean. I hope that you might be willing. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. I hope that was not too presumptuous on my part. Both he and you deserve a chance to... to be a family. Please, take care of him. So even the director knew that they were real. Son's a dickbag. Not the one over there. I apologize for any disruptions that my work might cause you. So I'm looking for an old microscope. You might be able to find one over with your um, friend Virgil. Yep. Sucking down a lot of rats looking around the show. Do you want to tell me why you did it? Why you sided with those boogeymen? You know what the Brotherhood would have done to the Commonwealth, Nick. I did the right thing here. Look, no one had more reason to dislike the Brotherhood than me. But this? Wiping them out? And the railroad? All those lives lost. For what? So a group of mad scientists can keep plundering the Commonwealth to their heart's content? Is that truly the world you want to live in? I want to live in a world with a future, Nick. And the Institute? That's humanity's future now. Thanks to you. You know, since the first time we met, I always got the sense that you were going to change this place. Nick's mad at me. So, this means that if you want to have Nick happy, you have to work with the railroad.
Gotta go to every police station. Hmm. Second floor. Which one do you have? The um, Winter's Holotape. Nick acts at me is because of Bethesda. Because they wouldn't make the fucking Minutemen an actual opposing threat. I mean, seriously. They build them up, then they just drop them off. The Minutemen stop becoming something important, like, right the fuck away. That was horrible to do that. fucking DLC to them, then yeah, I can leave it to that being what they're gonna do. But if they're not, then why the fuck even have them there? So much build up to jack shit.
protect and serve. Lock's really strong. Wow, someone actually made it that deep into the wall with a spoon.
I want the Coast Guard to have a, a have an enclave armor. Just right there. Yeah, that'd be interesting. So I guess after I complete all this shit, I'm going to make another... Actually, I could load a save from far back on. Yep. And just continue on from there and do the Brotherhood only. Because I only really need a, another save for mods. You know, you mean the attempt to do the Freedom Trail? There needs to be a special weapon here called the Whaler. It has a it's a harpoon gun. Yep.
I fell into a locked room. Dive, dive, dive. Hmm. Looks like we could catch a breather in here. What do you want me to do about it? Super, super yachts would kill me in seconds. Rex got himself into this mess. He'll have to figure out how to get out. One of the super mutants is coming. Help on Mayday or whatever it is one says on a My name. I'm Ann Harper. George and Rex and I are on this radio station. Hey. I'm worried about Rex. Those super mutants are so brutal. You don't know how this will turn out. I can only hope and pray that he somehow makes it out of this alive. George Cooper. Damn glad to be tracking my muck through this place. Super mutants plan on eating me soon. We need something new. Oh, shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming. Help! Or Mayday, or whatever it is. What the right says audience is getting bored like the same I play know. over and over. Where the heck is Rex at? Trinity Tower. Uh, hi. Uh, so, uh...
turn it off. Lock tight. Your Geiger counter doing cartwheels too? Whatever in this place is radioactive as shit. Something on that side of the fucking place. I don't know what. So. Sure as hell ain't good, that is. seems likely with this area. I stepped over it. Second there. something a long time ago and I'm just learning it now just wasn't fair coral if not for this kid yeah 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 sure thing you know I'm hungry too and there's nothing for us here let's go
What was I supposed to find down here? Counting for taste. Hopefully this lake cleared up, if not, I'm gonna have to go through it. Holy fuck, this place didn't clear up, it got filled up. There he is. Tissue sample? I guess I'm supposed to give that to Virgil. Hey Kenny. I'm gonna stop and start the stream up again.